We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone's guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing, and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot. Followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA, too. They were her inspiration. Believed in the mission. She'd never let them down. So what am I missing? Hmm. Interrogation. They're wasting their time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Out of still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She has something embedded in her forearm, a device. Oh. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. Oh. If Pantheon wanted, they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. Does it sound like she's on a schedule? Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. <laughs> I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal. Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. Okay. Oh. If you got any unfinished business around here, now's the time to take care of it. Hmm. Like what? Once we get started on Harrow, we're in it for the long haul. I don't think there isn't anything unfinished. We're almost ready. Either. How well do you know Harrow? Obviously not well enough. When Harrow arrived at Langley, she held a lot of promise. Curiosity, intellect, ambition. I tried to guide her in those early years. Maybe I wasn't the right one for the job. Her well, ambition was misdirected. It certainly served her well in her career. She now holds the most sway in the Special Activities Division behind Livingston himself. What are you putting together? Its official name is Phoenix Sorazine, but MK Ultra coined its separation. Ooh, MK Ultra. I've had it for a while. Let's hope it doesn't have an expiration date. What does it do? In most test subjects, it fragmented their psyche, a form of induced schizophrenia. We're gonna find the part of Harrow that's willing to talk to us. I have any other test subjects. Don't ask. <laughs> we should get started soon. Gee. <laughs> what do you got, Woods? Use the board when you want to get Harrow in here. Okay. You got everything wrapped up? Yeah, I think so. Where's everybody else? Hmm. I mean, we have enough for some of this stuff if we wanted. Some multiplayer and zombie stuff. But we have the train area all done. Could do that. Yeah, we'll just buy everything in here. Yes, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I don't see anything else. I mean, we did all this down here. Would we have? OK. 
Okay. Well, I think that's about it. We got the basement and everything down here all wrapped up, sure. We unlocked the safe upstairs, that was kind of the whole point. I don't, I don't really think there's anything else. Right. Local ammunition source, small batch purchases, contact info, furnace go in, piano over to the bats. Sealed bunker beneath the house. Yeah. Okay. I think that's literally it that Woods is trying to talk to us about. He's like, yeah, you got everything wrapped up. And it's like, yeah. Basically, like, have you gone down in the bunker and have you opened up the safe? Is what it seems like he's trying to say. Okay. Marshall, Sev. Felix, you guys all good? I think they're all in the room. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, check the evidence board. Make sure completed objectives. Yeah. If I can't find anybody else to talk to. Well, it's been a few months since I went off the grid, but... Three are, but what is? Let's get going on this. We should get started soon. All right, here we go. Evidence board. Borkuda. Separation anxiety. Never imagined it would come to this with Jane Adler's plan. Maybe risky. We got nothing to lose at this point. View details. All right. What do we got? Rewards. Get a charm. Get a kill of twelve different weapons and checkmate. I thought it was separation anxiety, but. Complete every available dialogue tree and every visit to the wreck. We got what, one more? And two more saves, or what? I don't know. I guess, all right, here we go, launch mission. You'll no longer be able to freely explore the wreck. Uh, I, mean, I don't see anybody. So unless we missed a dialogue tree earlier or something? Then I don't know, man. So now we can go clear out here. Guess we missed somebody. Once again, I I just look through everything here. I can't find anybody. Well, it's been a few months since I went off the so unless somebody's hiding or somebody's outside, I don't know where the last person dialogue tree or whatever. I don't know, my guy. I'm confused. 
but whatever. I don't think there's anything we can do about it now. Should we talk to everybody? Talk to Adler and we talk to Woods. You got everything wrapped up. Okay. Evidence board. I don't know, man. Here we go. Launch mission. Sure. This won't be an exact science. Think she'll survive it? Probably. Probably. Hey, folks. Is all this really necessary? I am outnumbered five and a half to one. Five and a half. Just give me a fucking reason. Enough bullshit. <laughs> Just tell us what that was a pretty good line. This doesn't have to get ugly. Well, where's the fun in that? Jane? <laughs> Please. Okay? You're better than this. Oh, you don't even know if you can do it. <laughs> We've both made our choices, Troy. I stand by mine, do you? <clears throat> I miss the old you. Ah! Yeah. Let's see if she's still in there. Frozen forest stuff. I can try. But I. Real Pantheon's plan. I would never do something like that. What in the world? Straight up, dude. This is like straight out of Black Ops 3's campaign. Black Ops 2 diner music? Where are you right now? says basketball on it. Interesting. Okay. Hello. It's a little girl. It's going to be all right. No. Oh, it's her. Something happened here. In the house? What do you see? What? This is like Samantha's room from zombies. Jane. Oh, she's. You're bleeding. Uh, oh, my God. I, I'll be fine. I had a little accident. That's all. Mommy needs you to stay in your room. Why do you have a gun? J Jane, just get under your bed and stay there as long as you can, okay? It, okay? It's like you're playing hide and seek. I don't want to. Jane, Jane, please get under the bed, okay? Just get under the bed. I love you. Uh, okay. 
childhood memory. Your mother was in danger? Yes. Why do you think you're remembering this now? Mm. I've never stopped remembering this, Troy. It made me who I am. Mm. Or was. Or will be. I don't... I don't Can't know anymore. Anymore. What about the cradle? Does that name mean anything to you? Maybe. Something to do with my mirror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Need to tell them anything. I need to know. Keep your mouth shut. Jane, you all right? I'm hmm. somewhere else. The other shirts restore the mirror. What? I have to fix the mirror. Put the pieces back together. Oh. Okay. Scavenger hunt, huh? Win a shard by searching around. Solve the clues for numbers found. These three numbers you must glean, then put them in the order seen. Death Scout's Tea Party. Put them in the order seen? When I was a girl, my mother loved making scavenger hunts for me. Okay. Where are you now? I'm... I'm in Vercuda. Vercuda? You were there recently. That's where you scaled up the bioweapon. Where did it go after that? What's your mom doing with Vercuda? Working hard, wanting more. Always seek the highest score. Okay. Highest score. What? What? Always seek the highest score. Okay. Yeah, sure. Hello. What? What the heck is that? Your dad? Okay. Hmm. Seek the highest score. In the world, count them all and let's begin. Trophies minus badges will get the win. Trophies minus badges, okay. What am I supposed to be looking for something in particular or what?
they came for tea and friendly chat. Count the guests and double that. Oh, what? The guests. Four? So eight? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing the whole freaking time? Count the guests and double that. Eight, because I see four. Okay. Tea party is eight. Did I say desk? Working hard, wanting more, always seek the nine score. nine something eight. Scouts. That is this. Nine blink eight. Okay. Well, she's not here anymore. Count them all. Let's begin. Trophies minus badges will get the win. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six trophies minus five badges. One. So what did I say? Nine one eight. Is that it? Let's try it. Is there something I'm missing, man? But I don't think so. Hey, we got it. Hello. A shard. Two more after this one. Progress, Troy. Okay. You got something for me? Get it closer. Place. Here it goes. Jane. Oh. My mother told me to stay under the bed, but I didn't. She didn't. She shooting? Something. Pantheon stole a bioweapon from a U.S. lab. Do you remember? It's starting to come back to me. Hmm. Tower flashlight. Oh. Oh. Oh, not too easy. You okay? Uh-oh. The gas. Yes. There, there's a mirror shard here, above me. Find it. We're gonna unblock you. Get those answers. Yeah. Are you cooperating with them? God, the lift has no power. Looks like it's connected to several generators. for me it's gonna take time Troy the 
There's going to be something behind me when I do this. Ready for it. Another one. This drug they gave us won't last forever. I'll be back. What was that? Nothing. You worked so hard for this. You want to just throw it all away? Two more. Mystery box. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Wasn't so bad. Freaking mannequins, man. Wheelchair. Okay. Jeez. What was that? Trying to be a horror game or something. Holy fetch balls, man. <laughs> this game is gonna freaking do something for me. Anxiety after playing this. But then she's also in her own brain about all this. You got to that shark? Almost there. Was I ever this foolish? Helping Maybe. the people that ruined us? Troy would do the same for me. So would the others. You really don't remember anything, do you? What the? We've moved on. Dude, what? Leave me alone. There we go. Okay. There's number two. Another mirror shard. I don't want to go through this again, Troy. You can do it. Whatever you experience, it seems to be a part of the rest. Hmm. Getting somewhere with Jane, she's cooperating. We can't stop now. <laughs> we're just chilling, right? Oh, Woods, I need you to take this over. 
to get what she knows. We'll take care of the rest. Send her my regards. Sev, seal the ops room. Hmm. Listen up. We need to buy Wood's time. As much as we can. If he can't get answers out of Harold, then all this, everything we've been doing, is for nothing. Don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm not here to die a forgotten footnote in history. So lock and load. Let's give our guests the welcome they deserve. All of you. On me. All right, let's go. Seb, Adler, Felix, take positions. Case, you want to place additional explosives out there past the wall? Now's the time. Sure, yes. All in on this, Felix? Yes, the gloves are off. Detonate. I oh. noticed. Oh, well, they're all on here. That Case, order. come on back. They pop smoke, get ready. They have shields. Weapons free. Hell, keep them away from the house. Throwing grenades. Okay, back up. Right. Yep, right there. That side. This is a fine day to die. For them, not us. Definitely them. Dude, what am I supposed to do? APC. APC incoming. Fall back. Take cover on the patio. Okay, pull back. Okay, grab a rocket launcher. Why can't I use this? Dude. 
There'll be more. I hear a helo in the distance. Wood, she talking? I think she's coming around. Oh, there we go. Harrow. Harrow! I'm here. Stay with me. We gotta keep going. Yes. <gasps> the situation with your parents is fucked. I get it. But I need answers. Now. I'm trying. Try harder. Your buddies are knocking on the door. <laughs> it's all connected. The murders. The killer. What about the killer? <sighs> I'm getting there. I grew up wanting to join the CIA. Like your parents. You grew up wanting vengeance. I wanted closure. Come on. Langley accepted me. I know. The newspapers, the police, my aunt and uncle, they all had the same story. My parents were killed in a simple home invasion. Happens more often than you'd think. But somehow I always knew they had it wrong. Maybe now, years after starting my career, multiple promotions, maybe now I'd have access to the truth. Oh. Then what'd you learn? No Good one folks. had information about the murders. So, dude. So over the years, I searched every physical archive I gained clearance to. When eventually I reached the most top secret repository, their files were missing. Oh. Jane Harrow. You think the CIA was hiding something from you? I can take over now. Of oh. course, they were hiding something, Woods. They're always hiding something. And you? You are weak and gullible. Nothing like me! What the? Where are we at? The drug is weak and pain. I'll be back in charge before you know it. I need to get to my office. What's in your office? Are we gonna bull run? Oh, damn. Wait, Not what? Again. What's going on? Come on. Am I really climb up? Okay. I thought we were gonna wall run. I was like, no freaking way, dude. Oh, wait. We're tight. Okay. Aren't you clever? Oh, five seconds. I wrap my hook. What? I still have the gun. Hey now. Figure out what you're hiding from me, what you're planning. So what about your office? Imagine giving your life for a cause, only to be completely erased from history afterward. Oh. I didn't think I would ever honor their memory. And then, hope arrived. Hello. Who are you? Someone found what I'd been looking for all this time. Who? Go ahead. See what's on the disc. Insert. Footage. Good oh, word. Nine. What? Oh, no mind. Zero is P. <laughs> uh, five is A. Six is in Pantheon. Eight. H is seven. Seven. What? Oh, two. Two is E. Pantheon. Wow. Oh, what? How is it unredacted there? From Emerson Black, Operation Red Sweep. 
Authority granted for operation on 91260 window of 2300 to 2310 high degree confidence targets on site high degree confidence child off site on 912. LH and JH considered extremely dangerous single operative shoot to kill on the intrusion cover. Ooh, September 8th, 1960, Emerson Black Special Activities Division. Okay, so alert. LH and JH, something L Harrow and J Harrow to kill them. Red Sweep. What are they like, Soviet or something? The Pantheon. They had copies of my parents' records, entire histories, details of the operation that killed them. It was ordered by the CIA itself. Oh. They're up. Targets eliminated. Knew it. Anything else? Negative. We're done here. Yeah. <laughs> it was Adler. The man who takes you under his wing. Adler? Bullshit. If it's true, that means your parents were double agents. Or worse. Never! Oh. Adler never put that together? What? How could it be Adler? The Pantheon revealed more to me than just the truth about my parents. They revealed how deep the CIA rot goes, murdering their own, their best. Manipulation. You can't believe anything they told you. They knew your weak spot. <laughs> Spoken like a true believer. You're nothing without the CIA woods. Mm. Pantheon took me in, showed me their vision for the agency. What do they fucking want, Harrow? This is a pivotal moment in history, Woods. The United States is about to become the world's lone superpower. Yeah. I really think an organization as corrupt, as decadent as the CIA should pull the world's strings in a new world order. We'll make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. After years of studying their strengths and their flaws from the inside, Pantheon is ready to take the reins once our current leadership is gone. Once they've been discredited and shamed, as they deserve. Oh, you're fucking crazy. We're going to give Americans a reality check. The CIA can't even keep them safe from the likes of Saddam Hussein and his terrible new weapon. A false flag attack? They won't buy that bullshit. Oh. Oh, they'll believe whatever narrative confirms what they want to believe. That's the easiest part of it all. How do you know someone else didn't kill your parents? It could have been the goddamn Pantheon themselves. You were a kid. Can you really trust your own memories? That's true. That's true. Targets eliminated. It was. How can you be so sure? Targets eliminated. Oh. I know it was. It wasn't Adler. Oh. Okay. You are so, so confused. Oh. What are you doing? You got zombie hero. Train zombie heroes. Well, I don't know that. Still with me? Right in it. 
They're really trying to make the campaign into zombies. He's <laughs> not. so confused. Like, obviously she's drugged or whatever, but like, what? Oh, you're getting weak. I am the only real person here! Don't you fucking check out on me, Arrow. Hmm. Stay with me! Oh, Akimbo. Okay. Damn you. <laughs> what? I beat her. Just like that? One last shard to place. Tell me the Pantheon's plan, Hero. Where did you send the cradle? I'm close. The mirror is almost complete. Place. Right, here we you go. can't undo what's already happened. Harrow. No. You okay? Don't you understand? You can't beat me. You're a part of me. We are in this together. Till the end. Harrow! Mere show us We're losing her. That's not an option. What? Damn. What the? Another one. Another one. Coming our way. Oh, Jeez. These guys act like it's like 1780. Like, why are you just running in? Let's see. Hey, you and Adler push the shed. Push to the shed. We need our sentry gun. Get the other ones. And do what with them? Where did he even go? What? We got this. More by the crib, right side. Supposed to get back? Is that where Adler went? What? In the... Moment of jail. Nice work, fellas. Yeah, dude. I don't see Adler. There's Marshall, Sev, and Newman. Woods, what's going on? 
Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he did, but like, what? Then all of a sudden he didn't. All of a sudden he's Pantheon, and like, Pantheon has all this information about the terms of deaths. I thought Newman was a pacifist. How'd that guy even get up here? That's actually pretty cool, dude. Who the frick is this guy? Achievement or something for getting somebody from like more than 50 meters or something. I swear. Everyone okay? Oh no. Let's go. Okay. I swear there's an achievement or something. I'm going out there. Wow. 
Yeah, he did. Dude, it's the capital building. We're gonna get you out of here, Harold. What? How do you plan? Just hold up. Keep fighting. Oh, what? Holy fish! What is this? Dude, if you would have told me that this is Call of Duty, I would not. Washington, D.C., the Capitol building. They're just waiting on my word to release it. Jesus Christ. That's 5,000 miles from here. It's awful. Everyone within blocks of the Capitol will be infected. Why? Because Livingston's head will roll for an intelligence failure of this magnitude. 
Failure to stop an attack on our capital. An attack using a CIA-funded bioweapon, no less. And someone else will take his place. You. Me. The Pantheon will finally control the institution that cast them out. I'm fading, Frank. You have to stop this. Stop me. We may have one last card to play. Can we just like call it this thing? Be like, hey. Give me something good. There's a bio up in the capital. The capital building. They're gonna release it after grabbing Hera. Holy shit. I let Livingston know. Let's see if that asshole. Ah, there we go. Copy that. Good job. Woods! Woods! Oh. Are we gonna play as Woods? Just beat a guy in a wheelchair. I'm so sad to see you like this, Woods. You try so hard. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh oh. I'll give the order once we're airborne. Oh, what the? Don't worry. Your suffering will be over soon. Well, he's in Black Ops 2, so not. <laughs> Sam, stay with him. Give us some cover fire. Add the case on me. Go, Case. We'll be fine. Take off. Or not. 
What? weeks later. Thanks for coming. You get medals or concrete boots? Neither. But I can start with an apology. Damn straight. I'm not sure how you pulled it off, but it's not lost on me that you prevented one of the greatest catastrophes of our time. So you want us back? Something like that. Can we trust one another? Working on it. Right now you have something of great value. Anonymity. You're in the shadows. No shit. We've always been in the shadows. Not like this. Your reach is greater than it's ever been. We need you, Woods. All of you. I can provide whatever you need. Accommodations, resources, cash, additional manpower. All of it off the books. I thought the Cold War was over. No more need for, uh, what was it? Global gunslingers. Yes. The Cold War may be over, but the world is more dangerous than it's ever been. The nature of our enemy is unclear now. What do you want us to do about it? What you've always done. Protect us. Harrow may be gone, but not the Pantheon. I need you back in Avalon. You think you're still a threat? I do. And worse. Whatever Cabal brought Harrow into the Pantheon, still lives inside our house. We thought they were long gone. But it turns out, they never left. Talking back, talking back, talking back, I didn't lay the... What? Okay, that's the campaign right there, case closed. What? Who's that dude at the end? What? Buried at sea. Complete checkmate in campaign on any difficulty. Uh, what in the... What was... Okay. Huh? I mean, I was gonna say, Black Ops games have always been a trip. But also not really. Not until, what, 3, 4, and 6? Cold War 6, I guess? I don't know. Like, Black Ops 1 campaign was, you know, it was kind of a trip, you know, it was kind of like a little bit like MK Ultra, you know, mind control stuff, with, you know, numbers, and yada, yada, yada. 
release the ending, whatever, it all made sense. Da, 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 da. Sure. This one, like, what? Interesting. I mean, like, okay. So how how are they? I'm interested. How are they going to go about doing this? Like, what what are they doing to tie this into like the greater Black Ops lore, right? Because they talked about Black Ops Two a little bit, you know, and before the game came out. They were like, okay, so the canon in Black Ops Two, Mason's dead, and you know Menendez and stuff, you know, whatever. Da, 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 da. And then you know they mentioned a little bit about Menendez in this game. Talked about uh, David Mason, you know, whatever. So okay. That's all fine and dandy, but then you have Case die at the end. Case kills Hero, and then they what, both just die because the helicopter gets, you know, special thanks to David Monterhar, my man, and Chris Cowell. All right. I thought Von D retired. I thought he moved on from Trayer, like, over a year ago. Anyways, um, yeah, like, what? So, Case and Hero are dead. Who was that guy at the very end? I have no idea. I didn't recognize him at all. And then, what? Adler's still alive? Adler and Sev and Felix and Marshall? But then in Black Ops 2, the only character we still see is Woods. Although Woods is, you know, he's in like a nursing home and so would everybody else, you know, so would Adler. Adler would be old as crap in that game, so. Yeah, but like, probably not Marshall. Marshall would be super old. He would be old, but yeah. So like, huh? I don't know, I don't, like, there's still something missing in here, you know? There's still stuff missing between, like, Black Ops 6 and Black Ops 2, which is interesting too, because there's rumors now, I don't know, this is still just a rumor, there's a rumor going around that next year's game will be another Treyarch game, and it will be, you know, like, a Black Ops 2 tie-in game. Who knows if that's true? But that could explain things, you know, the next year's game is going to be kind of like how uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 came out back to back. And basically just like MW2 came out, you know, whatever huge campaign, and then MW3 came out the year after, finished off the campaign. So that sounds like it, what might be happening here, potentially, that'd be kind of cool, is if uh, that was actually real. But yeah, like, I, dude, I don't really know what to think about that campaign. Like, it was good, you know, I saw there were some fun moments and stuff in there. But, I don't know, it's just like, there's a, I don't know, there's a lot of work and a lot of effort put into it, and I can appreciate that, but it just like, I don't know, it, it didn't quite hit the same as Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, you know? Like, the, the villain, you know? Like, in, in Black Ops 2, like, Menendez was like, you know, the big deal. But in this game, it's like, oh, well, you didn't find out it was Harrow until, like, right at the very end of the game, and then you're, what, just in her mind playing as her, and then... You find out that, what, Adler killed her parents? That it was the CIA, but then maybe it wasn't actually Adler. Maybe it was, you know, Pantheon. And then the Pantheon's trying to take over the CIA. And, like, I thought there was going to be a whole mission where we had to, like, go into the Capitol or something like that. But it's like, oh, we just called up Livingston. And Livingston, what, cleared out the Capitol? And, like, okay. And then the full of the plot. So, like, what? I don't know. But also interesting, though, too, because, like, so... I didn't think that, like, I'm sure that Turek didn't necessarily think that they were going to make this game when they made Cold War. So, at, you know, at the end of Cold War, you have, um, who was the main character in that one? I don't even remember what his name was. But whoever the, the main character was in that game, Bell. Bell, that was his name. You had Bell and Adler at the very end basically draw on each other. And it was just kind of unclear as to what the, the canning ending of that game was. You know, if Bell killed Adler, Adler killed Bell, whatever, da 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 you know, kind of just left it up for interpretation, and, I mean, there you go. It kind of takes care of loose ends through the campaign uh, to tie into Black Ops 2. But instead, we had another game come after Cold War that also ties into Black Ops 2. So it was like, okay, yeah, Adler died, potentially, and that's why he doesn't show up in Black Ops 2. Or, oh, hey, Bell died, and that's why he doesn't show up in Black Ops 2. But, I don't know. Interesting, though. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting stuff there. But, yeah, kind of the same thing. It's just like the main character of this game is just like a silent protagonist, just like in... Uh, in Cold War, and then they just die at the very end of the game, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. That was so strange. 
But, it, you know, good campaign. I'm glad that they did a campaign because, I mean, shoot, the only time we didn't have a Black Ops campaign was in Black Ops 4. And now that game, it, it kind of had one. They tried to kind of had one later with the specialist missions and explain things, but also tried to, like, make Blackout canon and part of the, you know, like, whole lower Black Ops universe. And that was kind of weird, whatever. You know, had stuff with Woods, but then Woods was, like, you know, figment of whatever that lady's name was, her like imagination or something like that. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was it was so strange. But like, I wish the Treyarch would come out and just give like a comprehensive like, hey, here is the entire Black Ops lore. Here's the entire storyline from start to finish. Because like, starts out technically in World of War. You know, if you want to get you know real crazy, starts in World of War. Black Ops 1, and then it's kind of Cold War, and then it's Black Ops 6, and then Black Ops 2, and then we have Black Ops 4, and then we got Black Ops 3. So, yeah, a lot of weird stuff going on there with uh, the storyline and all the games and stuff, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, look at all these people who worked on this, though. Like, you gotta give them credit, though, that, uh, you know, they, they did, you know, probably put a lot of work into this, you know, and I'm sure, I'm sure they poured their heart and soul into it, and a lot of people, you know, worked hard on this, and once again, like I said, I am glad, if nothing else, that they actually made the campaign, because I feel like Call of Duty campaigns have kind of started to slip in recent years, you know, they haven't really been, you know, maybe as popular as they once were, you know, like we, I don't feel like we've had, you know, as many, like, heavy hitters as we did with, like, the COD 4 campaign, with MW2, the original MW3, with Black Ops 1, with Black Ops 2. Ghosts, I think, tried, but at the same time, it's, you know, like, I don't know, I think Ghosts onwards kind of fell into that trap of it wasn't necessarily as memorable as it potentially could have been and whatever, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, the curse of not being within, you know, a series or like a mini franchise, it not being a Black Ops game, but it also not being a Modern Warfare game. It had to be its own thing. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, it kind of felt like in recent years, some of the campaigns have just kind of been an afterthought that the main focus, which obviously, you know, Call of Duty is, you know, this is why people buy it. And they play it, and they continue to play it day in and day out. It's for your multiplayer. It's for your zombies. And now it's for, like, your war zone. It's for, your, you know, your third mode in there with your battle royale and stuff, too. So, obviously, that's where probably a lot of the focus and budget and stuff goes to is developing those ones because now they also... Uh, bring in additional income through microtransactions, through cotton points, through the battle paths, through the black cell, through skins, you know, master crafts, all that kind of stuff too. Um, whereas the campaign, it's literally just, okay, you buy the game and then it's one and done, you know? They, they can't earn extra money off the campaign. But still, I don't know. It was, it's interesting too, because I feel like even like Modern Warfare 2019, that was still definitely a strategy at the time, but they developed a really good campaign. Even Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2's campaign, was pretty good. I feel like uh, Black Ops, or Modern, sorry, not Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3's campaign was really just a complete afterthought, and it was just like, well, we gotta put something together real fast, so that's what they did. And they kind of shoehorned characters into that, and it didn't really feel very genuine. Maybe that's just uh, me being overly critical, but I don't know. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this? What did you guys think uh, watching this? And if you know, you played it for yourself, what do you guys think about the Black Ops 6 campaign? Interesting. Um, I feel like, I mean, a lot of like the pre-release you know, marketing stuff going around, it was like, what, the truth lies and all this stuff, like, I thought we were gonna, you know, get into some, some, like, really cool lore and stuff here, especially with the Gulf War and stuff, but really just, like, dove into the weird side of things, and, like, okay, it was nice, you know, seeing Vorkuta, that was a, a fun, like, you know, obviously Black Ops 1 tie back, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm, I don't know, like, there's some things like that that almost felt shoehorned in as a like a reminder, like, hey, we're in the Black Ops universe, remember that? You know, hey, remember Black Ops 1? But then, you know, you would have little things in there where, you know, Woods is talking about David Mason and stuff like that, you know, and talking about Alex and, and whatever and stuff. So, like, obviously events are like Black Ops 2 and stuff. So it's like, okay, obviously other ties in there when they talked about Menendez it was, it was good. And, you know, and just kind of like once again brings it in or kind of reminds you oh yeah you're playing a black ops game remember black ops 2 okay this ties into that game yada 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 but like at the same time i don't know i don't know if you necessarily need all that i think that a strong campaign can build off of itself and kind of should be able to stand alone in a series you know i i think that would be really cool if they could do that but uh i don't know i mean it, it's interesting too because obviously you still need tiebacks and you need something to remind you that you are still playing in the same universe because once again, Black Ops 3 kind of had that issue. Where in Black Ops 3, there wasn't a whole lot of ties to remind you that, hey, you're playing a Black Ops game. This is tied to the Black Ops universe. 
Prior to that, you had Black Ops 1 and 2, very heavily collected, connected, also World of War, I guess. Um, those are all heavily connected, built off of each other, and then Black Ops 3 just showed up, and then it was just like, what, a couple of throwaway lines of dialogue in the campaign that if you weren't paying attention, you would totally have missed, or it was just like, oh yeah, after the drone attacks in 2025, you know, they developed like the dead system or whatever, and it's like, okay, any characters return from the previous game? Nope, none of that. Obviously, they had to do that because it was set in, like, 20, what, 54 or something like that? 20-whatever. And, you know, obviously, like, characters like Woods and Mason, all these people would be long dead by then. But also, like, I don't know, what about David? You know, you, you could still do that. So, like, I don't know. Once again, you don't need to shoehorn in old stuff, but you also still need more than just a couple little things to remind you that you're in the same universe. Which, I don't know, there's a... I have a, a personal theory going around that Black Ops 3 wasn't actually intended to be a Black Ops game. It was supposed to be Treyarch's own, just like new entry into the franchise. You know, it was supposed to be kind of like an advanced warfare or an infinite warfare. It was supposed to be just like something completely new. And then uh, Activision was like, oh, actually you can't do that. You have to name it Black Ops 3. Like we just came off the heels of Black Ops 2. This is like one of the most anticipated games. Everyone is so high from Black Ops 2. You have to make another Black Ops game because like, why wouldn't you? And so it seems like, you know, like, they almost just slapped the Black Ops name onto the campaign and onto that game. So they are just like, I guess we'll just call it Black Ops 3. That's my personal theory going around with that game as to why that game didn't really feel Black Ops in terms of campaign or, you know, really have a lot to do with it. It was definitely a trip. I think that was the most jarring and like hard to understand and hard to follow campaign of all time. Just because like it's told while your character is dying and all this stuff and like the whole story is like spelled out in like the scrolling text at the beginning of the missions and stuff and so i don't know it was just such a trip but i don't know that's just my theory though about the black ops 3 campaign but uh yeah what do you guys think what do you guys think about black ops 6 you know campaign fairly solid you know I, i'm definitely gonna go back through and play it but like I don't know. It, uh, it didn't quite hit the same. I and mean, like, I wonder if they're going to expand upon this and uh, and like do more with the story and say some of like the you know the different seasons and stuff. So we got season one coming out. You know that one will add uh, some more story. I'm sure you know they're going to have like a, se a season one. Like every time you boot up the game, there's going to be like an intro video or whatever. Okay, here's what's happening in the season. You know, we have this character return. Here's the like the the cover character for the season. You know, it's like we've done that in previous games. So we did that all of Cold War and stuff. We had like some new villains and stuff, some new enemies, new bad guys and stuff. And that's like the main antagonist for that season and stuff. So it'd be interesting to see, but then it's also interesting too, because it's like, okay, how much of that is actually canon? Because like, if you also, I mean, there's that whole other thing too, where now Call of Duty is trying to make all of their games come together and all be connected, where now all of a sudden Vanguard is connected into Black Ops Cold War, and they're also still all connected into like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2019, and then, you know, potentially this game. I don't know if they've, you know, really done that with this one, but like, you know, I don't know, all these games are supposedly connected and all this stuff, you know? Like Vanguard, I think, was like one of the most shoehorned in ones. It was just like the connection to that game. It was so strange. But yeah, I don't know. And then they were all connected through Warzone and stuff. And like, okay. And then you had like Nova 6 gas in the, you know, the Black Ops Cold Wars season of Warzone and stuff. But I don't know. I don't necessarily consider all that canon. But what do you guys think? You know, it'll be, once again, it'd be interesting to see if Shurik ever came out. And was just like, okay, here is the official storyline. Here's the full canon storyline of the Black Ops series. You know, like, I mean, come on. Because it's a little confusing at this point, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, like, what other franchises kind of had this issue, I guess? Maybe not issue, but just, like, had to deal with this, I suppose. Like, the original Modern Warfare trilogy was just cut and dry. It was just, you know, it was, ooh, it was recorded July 6th through 9th. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Wow, that's cool. It was recorded this year, you know, just a couple months ago is when uh, they put together the orchestra for it. Wow, that's kind of fun. But uh, yeah, I mean, with those ones, it was it was just it was pretty cut and dry. I feel like with you know with the original Modern Warfare trilogy, it was just one, two, three. You know, every other year, and each game just boom, 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 built on each other. And even though MW3 had some you know kind of some uh, issues with that campaign. And just that game in general, you know, with the studio, half the studio leaving, um, it was interesting. I mean, I saw people making comments and comparisons from 
the new Modern Warfare 3 to the old Modern Warfare 3, and they're like, if I had a nickel for every time that, you know, we've gotten kind of a rushed and shoehorned in um, Modern Warfare 3 campaign, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's, you know, it's, like, weird that it happened twice, because, yeah, it kind of is, so, <clears throat> I don't know, just interesting. So, yeah, Trent Reznor, wow, head like a hole. Lullaby, Ben Cut Steam, we die young. Bust a move. <laughs> okay. Epic. NWO, New World Order. NWO. Hail to the Chief. Boss of Dance. Embrace. Heat of the Night. We love rock and roll. <laughs> Studio 42, Stamina Up Jungle. Oh, Jingle. Ah, oh, there we go. Salsa Feeling Speed Cool Jingle. Boney. Juggernaug Jingle. Juggernaug, not Juggernaug. Elemental Pop Jingle. Melee Machianato Jingle. Deadshot Dacre Jingle. PhD Flopper Jingle. What I Carry On. Revive Solo Jingle. Whoa. Alright. Cast. Casting Director. Cast. Oh, look at that. There's all the people for this game. Nolan North. Hey, oh, Rick Toffin. That's kind of fun. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Well. Black Ops 6, I suppose, everybody. That is, uh, that is the game. I wonder if uh, there's going to be like an after credits thing or something like that. I don't know. It'd just be interesting. Because, like, do you guys remember back with Black Ops on... Hey, Blur worked on this game. Let's go. What a great studio. They did all the cutscenes for uh, Halo 2 Anniversary. Those ones look so good. Dude, that was 10 years ago as well. That's insane. But, uh, yeah, do you guys remember in the Black Ops 1 campaign, how at the very end of it, it was like, oh, yeah, Mason's all cured, you know? He would... He uh, isn't, like, brainwashed anymore. And then it's like, wait, is he? Because, um, you know, there was that line in the campaign where he's like, you tried to make me kill my own president. And, you know, he's like, tried? And at the end of the campaign, it's like, oh, hey, you know, JFK got assassinated. And, you know, zoom in. Oh, Mason was there. So Mason might still, you know, been under mind control and it killed JFK. And then all of a sudden the campaign ends and <clears throat> you just boot up and you're just there playing a game of uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies on 5, you know? That was actually kind of cool. They, they just, like, all of a sudden put you into that. And then, like, you know, Black Ops 2 had, uh, you know, the whole thing in that campaign. Afterwards, they had, like, the concert thing, you know, where everybody's rocking out, you know, there's Event Sevenfold there and all the campaign characters and Woods. Is, uh, he's not in a wheelchair anymore. He's like, what? No, I'm just lazy, man. You know, just so funny. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's not like a Marvel movie. Like, is there going to be a cutscene or something at the end? I don't know. But, like, who's that character at the end? I don't know. I didn't catch that. I might need to, like, go back and rewatch that. Because, like, what? But, uh, yeah, if you guys have theories or if you guys know, if there's something I missed, well, let me know in the comments down below. Because I'm seriously still so confused. I don't, I don't know what I missed. I don't know if I was supposed to know who that was. Or what? Like, didn't look like Menendez or anything. So, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. Because, whatever. There's still some just dude on the computer at the very end. So, like, yeah, was it? Like, am I supposed to know? I don't know. Also, hang on a second. <laughs> I just remembered. Do you guys remember in uh, Call of Duty Vanguard's, like, final season? They had Menendez in that game for some reason. All of a sudden, they brought a Black Ops 2 villain into Vanguard, into this World War II game? What was that all about? What? What was it called? Like, Final Stand or Last Strike or something like that? What? I just remember that that was a thing. I, I, I don't even know, man. That campaign and that whole game was just such a strange year, man. That was... I, I don't even know. I don't know what that year was, but that was so weird. And, yeah, ever since then, Sledgehammer has just kind of been quietly done, you know? Supposedly, this next year would be their game, but, you know, I kind of doubt that. Is that, it uh, seems like Activision's kind of putting Sledgehammer on the back burner, you know? They're like, hey, you guys aren't doing this too hot right now. Ooh. You know? I don't know, but... We shall see. Look at all these people, man. There's a lot of people who worked on this game. But, like, I mean, they had, what, four years of development for it? So this was you know, the longest development cycle we've had for a Call of Duty game yet was uh, this game, you know, because Treyarch made Cold War back in 2020. 
and then they just had time to do this one. Now, obviously, they also had other stuff on their plate it, right after Cold War, and probably during Cold War's life cycle, they also had to develop Zombies mode for Vanguard. I think they, did they also do ranked play for Vanguard? Was there a ranked play in Vanguard? I don't know. They had to do Modern Warfare 2's ranked play mode, and uh, then they also had to do uh, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Dude, I still have yet to even play that, so maybe I should go play it, see, you know, how it is before I make judgments, but, like, then they also had to do that, and I think they also did ranked play for Modern Warfare 3, so it's not like they've had a full, you know, just, like, scot-free, hey, you guys just, like, carefully work in the background, work for four years on Black Ops 6. You know, they still been doing a bunch of stuff on it, and so that's not sure why we have other studios like Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer and Raven and all these other people coming in here and helping out with Black Ops 6. Plus, it's not, you know, necessarily anything new. They've always had people kind of help out here and there with these ones. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Look at that. Ooh, Matt Booty, my man. Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg. Wow. Okay. AMD, Dolby Audio, Dolby Atmos. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think this is uh, the end of it. Here we go. Uses Mega Scans. Copyright 2024. Epic Games. Oh, MIT. NVIDIA. Video image scaling. Oh, Bink video. Oodle. World creator. A real time terrain and landscape generator. Oh, interesting. All right. There we go. All right. Anything at the end? As we set on this new adventure, we can't uh, help but think about the incredible journey we shared since our last game. Much has happened and many things have changed. The one constant is our passion for creating unforgettable experiences for you. We're humbled by your enthusiasm and support, fueling our fire to bring this game to life and innovate like never before. Our full thanks goes out to Microsoft Activision. I didn't even get to read all of it. Dang it. What? That's it? Dog. Challenges. What in the what? Okay, what was I supposed to do in all of this? Center general scan in three different ways. Answer every phone. Yeah, there was no, like, fifth phone. For some reason, he still did get one more. And then we're still missing two safes? What? Uh, got a kill of 12 different weapons and checkmate. Oh. Dang it. With a throwing knife of Bluffy. Okay. Brutal measures. Perform five finishing moves on the lead soldiers. Okay. Yeah. And then we got some Dark Ops challenges that I have no idea about. But, yeah, there we go. That is the campaign. Um, yeah, let me actually go back through and let's read... Uh, what that message said because that did not give us enough time and I was like rushing trying to uh, to read through all this let's go and read that and then we'll end it okay here we go here's what they said as we set on this new adventure we can't help but think about the incredible journey we've shared since our last game since Cold War that's fun much has happened and many things have changed but one constant is our passion for creating unforgettable experiences for you we're humbled by your enthusiasm and support fueling our fire to bring this game to life and innovate like never before heartfelt thanks goes out to Microsoft Activision and all of our creative partners for their unwavering dedication now it's time to jump online and make new memories together this is just the beginning Triarch, Raven and our partner studios hey fun heartfelt thanks goes out to Microsoft Activision and creative partners for their unwavering dedication but also, incredible journey uh, we've shared since our last game. Huh. Okay. The last game was Cold War, but yeah, I mean, just like I talked about there, like what? With the, you know, they've worked on other projects and stuff since then, but this is just the beginning. Like, I don't know. They say much has happened and many things have changed. So, like, obviously, you know, Microsoft has bought Activision, and a lot of people, you know, a bunch of people have left Treyarch, and now that's what... Like, it's so hard... Because it's like, it's still a Black Ops game, you know? But at the same time, like, it almost isn't because it's, like, what do they call that? Like, the ship of Theseus? Because it's like, how many people who worked on, you know, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and even Black Ops 3, you know, all these, like, OGs, you know, who, like, made Black Ops what it is. How many of those guys have moved on from Treyarch and are no longer working there? And it's the same thing with the original Infinity Ward. I mean, most of the guys from the original COD 4 and MW2 left and went and worked at Respawn. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of those guys, I'm pretty sure even some of them came back from Respawn and worked at Infinity Ward again for, like, you know, uh, Infinite Warfare and for Modern Warfare 2019 and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just crazy. But uh, I don't know. Just interesting. So, like they say, this is just the beginning beginning of what you know is this uh i obviously not i don't think it is but like is that a hint towards next year's game like i said there's rumors and leaks and stuff going around that next year's game is going to be kind of a black ops 2 like tie-in game so much more and that hey i mean it's 2025 so you know who's uh, who's to say 
Maybe we'll even get a remaster as well. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's going to do it, guys. That is the Black Ops 6 campaign. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments down below. That was actually insane. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys back with more Black Ops 6 videos.